Hi, this is Kamish Schwerglanz and my name is Aneta. And in today's video, we're going to practice some past papers on enthalpy change calculation. And if you're not sure what this is, it's these calculations. Q equals mc delta t and the enthalpy change minus Q over n. So I've got the questions here, but if you would like a copy of the questions so that you can go through it with me, just email me or leave a comment with your email or just message me in the box provided on the main page of my blog and I will email the questions back to you. So the first question says, in a neutralization experiment, 50 centimeters cubed of aqueous sodium hydroxide solution of concentration 0.5 mol dm minus 3 were added to 50 centimeters cube of aqueous, aqueous nitric acid solution of concentration 0.5 mol dm minus 3 in a calorimeter. The initial temperature of the solutions were 18 degrees Celsius and it rose to 21.4 degrees Celsius. And the first part says find the number of moles of acid used. So the two equations you might want to know for this topic is N equals mass over MR and N equals CV. These are the two equations that you might be asked to use to find the number of moles. In this example we're going to use N equals CV because we've got the concentration and we've got the volume. So our concentration we can just use the concentr concentration and volume of one substance, but they're both the same, so it doesn't matter. So 0.5 concentration times volume. The volume has to be in decimeters cubed, and to go from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, you've got to divide it by 1,000. So it's going to be 50 times 10 to the minus 3, because divide by 1000, you can also write times 10 to the minus 3. And this gives us an answer of 0.025. The next bit says, find the heat evolved in the experiment in joules. To calculate the heat, we use this equation, Q equals mc delta t. If you're not following, Visit my blog page first, I will leave the link in the description box below. Uh, go for a topic, practice some examples I've put there and then come back. So, our mass is the volume of these two substances added together. So in this example it's going to be 100. Then we times it by the specific heat capacity, which is 4.18. And then we times it by the temperature change. The temperature change is 21.4 minus 18. And this is 3.4. Just put it in the calculator and you will get 1421 joules. Um, this time you don't have to change it to decimeters cubed, you can just leave it as centimeters cubed. So the next question, uh, the next part of the question says, find the enthalpy change of neutralization for this reaction in kilojoules per mole. So that's the second equation you have to be familiar with for this topic, is minus Q over N. These two equations, along with these two, won't be given to you in the exam, you have to remember them. But they're really not that difficult, so you can manage this. So our Q is this, minus 1421. Then we divide it by the number of moles, which we calculate it right here, which is 0 0.025. And the answer that we get is 5600. No, it's so, I'm sorry, it's 56,800 joules mole minus 1. 
the units are because we divide joules per mole, so joules mole minus one. But they ask us to find it in kilojoules. So we gotta divide the answer we got by thousand. And this is one, two, three, so 56.8 kilojoules mole minus one. And for some reason, I lost my minus, which is in the equation. So the answer is a minus. 56.8 kilojoules mol minus 1. So my next question is, Ewan used the apparatus below, this, to find the enthalpy change of combustion of non-A, C9H20. Ewan measured the mass of the spirit burner at the start of the experiment and found that 0.2 grams of non-A has been burned. Calculate the number of moles of non-A present in 0.2 grams. So that's time to use... This equation to find moles, mass over MR, we know the mass, which is 0.2, and the MR of C9H20 is 128. In order to calculate the MR, you just do 9 times 12 plus 20 times 1. And this gives us an answer of 1.563 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, so I've got two more parts for this question. The initial temperature of water was 22.5 degrees Celsius and the maximum temperature recorded was 53.2 degrees Celsius. Calculate the enthalpy change of combustion of nonane in kilojoules mole minus 1. Show your workings and the specific heat capacity is 4.18. So the first thing you do is the change in temperature, which is 53.2 minus 22.5. And this gives us an answer of 30.7 degrees Celsius. The next part is to find the heat uh, evolved. So it's mc delta t. So our mass stated in the previous part of the question, which is 50 centimeters cubed of water. We change, we're trying to find the heat evolved. That's why we're using the 50 centimeters cubed of water and not the mass of nonane. Because we burned nonane to heat up water. So that's why we use the 50. Our heat capacity, specific heat capacity is 4.18. And then we've got to times it by the temperature difference. It doesn't matter if you use Kelvins or Celsius. And this is because the difference will always be the same. It doesn't matter if you use Kelvins. Because if, if, for example, it was 53.2 Kelvins and 22.5 Kelvins, the difference will be exactly the same. So our heat evolved is 6,416 joules. Now we've got to find the enthalpy change, which is minus Q over N, minus 6,416 over N, which we calculated in the previous part, and it was 1.563 times 10 to the minus 3. This gives us 41,050, but that's joules minus one so we divide this by thousand to get 41 point five I'm really sorry I think I've messed something up just put this into calculator then divide by thousand and then your final answer should be minus four thousand. 105 kilojoules more minus one. Forgive me for this. That's wrong. Don't look at this. Just divide it by 1,000 straight away in the calculator because the number will be very high. And then you should get minus 4,105. So the next bit asks us to give the main reason why the experimental value that you want obtained differs from the book value. Suggest any improvements to the experiment that would give a more accurate value. So the main reason that experimental values are lower 
um, are different from the book values because the heat is lost to the environment. And the improvement that we can make is use a lid on water. In this way, the heat will not just go to the environment, it will stay. I've got another question for you. The addition of zinc powder to 55 centimeters cubed of aqueous copper 2 sulfate at 22.8 degrees raised the temperature to 32.3 degrees, not 0.3175 of grams of copper was obtained. Write an equation for this reaction including state symbols. So we know the zinc powder, so zinc as a solid, was added to aqueous copper to sulfate, so copper sulfate, and it was in aqueous state, um, raised the temperature and copper was obtained copper as a solid was obtained. So zinc displaced copper to form zinc sulfate. Calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction per mole of copper formed. So as always we've got the temperature change uh, which is 32.3 minus 22.8 and this gives us 9.5 degrees Celsius. Got to find Q, which is MC delta T. Um, the mass is 55 centimeters cubed times the specific heat capacity times the temperature difference. And this gives us 2184.05 joules. We've got to do that. We can, just, we can write the steps. We've got to do next is find the number of moles because we're going to need it in the next equation. In this instance, we've got the mass, so we can use mass over MR. Mass is not 0.3175, and the MR of copper is 63.55. Five. You can find it on the periodic table. I'm sure you can do it. And this equals to 5 times 10 minus 3 moles. Once you find this, you can go to the next step to find the enthalpy change, which is minus Q over N. We've got Q minus 2184.05. Then we divide by the number of moles, which we also got. And our answer is minus 43,000, no, 436,810 joules, mole minus one. Um, we now want to divide this by 1,000 and we get minus 436.81 kilojoules mole minus one. They will usually ask you to find it in kilojoules per, per mole. If they don't, you can leave it like this, but I usually just round it to kilojoules because it's, it's a much nicer number to write. I've got a last question right, last question right here. Combustion of 1.6 gram of ethanol, raise the temperature of 150 grams of water from 22 degrees Celsius to 71 degrees Celsius. Find the enthalpy change of combustion of ethanol. And we've got the specific heat capacity of 4.18. So as always, our first step is to find the change in temperature. This time it's 71 minus 22. And this gives us 49 degrees. Our second step is to find the heat evolved, which is MC delta T. Mass is the mass of both of these substances, which is 150 grams plus 1.6 grams. And this gives us 151.6, and that's what we're gonna use. 
we times it by the specific heat capacity, which is 4.18. And then we also times it by the difference in temperature, which is 49. Our final answer for this is 31050.71 joules. The next step that we've got to take is to find the number of moles, because that's what we're going to use for finding enthalpy change. So this time we can use mass over MR because we've got mass and the MR. When you've got two substances with the mass and you can find the MR of both of them, you always want to use the one of which it's less. So in this example, it's the 1.6 grams of ethanol because it might be that the 150 grams of water is in excess. So the number of moles, if we calculate the number of moles of water instead of ethanol, it might have been the excess. So our number of moles would be wrong. That's why we you just always have to use the smaller number. Whatever you do, always use the smaller number to find the number of moles because you you then make sure that it's not in excess. So 1.6 and then the MR of ethanol is 46.06. And the answer is 0 0.0347. The next step you've got to find is the enthalpy change, which is minus Q over N. We found Q right here. But we've got to put the minus, so minus 31050.71. And then you divide it by N, the number of moles, 0 0.0347. Our answer is minus 8948333.14 joules mole minus 1. This is in joules, but as I told you in the last question, even though they don't tell you to find it in kilojoules, I always like to just convert it to kilojoules because the number looks so much better. So just divide by 1000 to get minus 894.83 kilojoules mole minus 1. And we finished all of the questions. If you were able to do all of these questions, I think you will nail this question in the exam if it come up. Just remember everything I show you are my techniques and ways of learning and revising. If you have any questions about my videos, please comment or email me. I will leave all the links in the description box below as always. Also, if you have any comments about the quality or content of my videos, please also leave them under this video. And that's all for now. Like, subscribe and see you soon. Bye.